Welcome, 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 collective. This is Queen here, back here again with another general intuitive energy read for the collective. Don't know what's coming out, but we're going to see. Hope everybody's having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. We're going to tap into this energy and see what cosmic messages the divine has for the collective at this time. Remember, this is just a general message. So only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Please and thank you. What's your Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? Okay. All right. Hmm. Somebody has secrets here. Somebody could be possibly worried. Somebody could be wanting to reach out to somebody here. Hmm. With the Nine of Swords being here in the reverse here. Um, somebody could feel like they judge somebody too harsh. Or somebody could, I don't know, just wanting some forgiveness for something here. Is the energy I'm getting here. About a secret they may be keeping. Somebody may need to release some type of worry here. Is what I'm getting here. Somebody could be judged for doing something with judgment being out here. What's here in the Holy Spirit? What else do they need to know? Some type of deep-seated fear. Somebody doesn't believe somebody. The Ace of Swords came in the adverse position. So possibly somebody's not believing what somebody says. Somebody could be confused or frustrated. Wanting to reach out, okay. There could be some sort of secret, deep-seated fear of a secret that somebody's been keeping here. Okay, wow. I don't know. Somebody, like I said, somebody could have clouded judgment right now. And that's followed by the, the Queen of Swords here. Unbiased judgment. Yeah. Hmm. The way somebody sees something, it says coldness, direct communication. Somebody, somebody wants to communicate with somebody concerning a secret here. Somebody could be under judgment here. Somebody could be worrying about somebody finding out a secret. Somebody could want to reach out to somebody because they, you know, I don't know, they need to tell them something. But there's a lot of confusion here. A lot of chaos, a lot of frustration going on here. Okay, about whatever this cloud of judgment is. Somebody wants to be clear on something with the Queen of Swords coming out here. Like, if somebody is like, well, they're not going to take either side here. Like, they're going to hear both sides out is what I'm getting here. Um, this communication is going to be clear-minded. Somebody wants to see something clearly here is what I get with, with the um, Queen of Swords being out here. On the bottom of the deck, it's like a mix um, <laughs> with the Ace of Pentacles, a missed opportunity or a missed chance or a lack of seeing something, okay? Or somebody made a bad investment. So let's dig a little deeper and see what this could be about. Well, somebody's worried about something to sum it all up. Somebody's worried about being judged about something or somebody's worried about a secret coming out, all right? Somebody's going to get to the bottom of it, but they're not going to take sides. You know, they just want to get a clear message, a uh, clear view of what's really going on here with the situation here. All right. Somebody feels like, yeah, somebody's worried about something here. Hmm. What's their Holy Spirit? What's collected me to know? What I need to be aware of at this time, please and thank you. Somebody may have missed a chance of, you know, and they worry because somebody's going to find out a secret or they should have told somebody something before they found out. Because somebody's definitely looking for some clarity on this. Yeah, somebody's thinking that the way they thought about something, they could have just created a disaster out of a situation. That's what I'm getting here. And they're worried because they feel like, you know, somebody's going to get to the bottom of it. Or they've been judged for something that they've done. So let's see what this is. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, it says karmics. So yeah, third party haters, lessons learned. Okay, is what I'm getting with that. 
what's here so this does involve a third party that could have been a secret that somebody's worrying about uh getting out here they're hoping that it doesn't but somebody's going to get to the bottom of it and somebody's not going to take sides until they get a clear perspective of what's going on here okay and somebody want, want some redemption but there's a lot of chaos and confusion here okay frustration wow Somebody's feeling like they created a disaster. They should have rethought their position on this here. And somebody's under judgment. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> Got Libra out here. Aquarius, Gemini. Wow. What's that, Holy Spirit? Messages for the collective. Somebody feels like somebody was inconsiderate in the situation here. Or maybe somebody, you know, bit off more than they could chew <laughs> is what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. Something happened by default here. A judgment by default. Maybe somebody wasn't guilty of something. They got blamed for it is what I'm picking up here. And then we have fast action. Like, yeah, this, this, whatever the situation is, it, it, it took out pretty fast. Okay. Like, wow. As soon as somebody thought about doing this or keeping something a secret, as soon as they did that, the disaster took off and it happened. And now this person is trying to rethink, like, I should have, I should have done something different or I shouldn't have done this shit at all because I've created a disaster here. And it took off. It took off. Now somebody's on a quest to find out the truth here. Uh-huh. Why somebody uh, ghosted somebody or why somebody did a disappearing act. Okay. Or was they just a fucking coward. Okay. That somebody was going to find out. But they bit off more than they could chew in a situation here. And this is like a, a third party. Like it has something to do with a third party karmic. Okay. So what else is here? Holy Spirit, what do they need to know? What I need to be aware of. Please and thank you. Could have something to do with close friends here. Okay. Or a close friend. A close friend could have told somebody's secret to their person. Okay. Wow. And now somebody's taking something back from somebody. Here's the energy I'm getting here. Yeah. A risky situation here. Oh, somebody may have told somebody that they was leaving their person and they were supposed to keep it a secret and they didn't. And now they're feeling like they, you know, spoke a little bit too soon because they might have really made a disaster out of some shit. You know what I'm saying? Did some fucked up shit. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> somebody saying bye, Felicia. Yeah, somebody's blocking somebody off because of what somebody did. Somebody's ghosting somebody. Somebody is walking away disappearing on somebody i mean as a defense mechanism though like i guess to guard their heart okay because right now whoever this person is they're puzzled about the whole situation that's why the queen of swords is out here to gain some clarity okay not taking either side but to find out what truly happened here or did this truly happen the reason why this person left somebody here yeah, somebody bit off more than they could chew. Or somebody told more than they were supposed to tell. Somebody somebody let somebody's secret out the bag here. And it was a lustful one. Somebody's friend. Now somebody's conflicted, puzzled, perplexed, confused. You know? How did this get out? Mm-hmm. This motherfucker, whoever this friend was, was just being extra. They wanted the secret to get out. They wanted somebody to know that they person had a third party. Okay. Wow, it was a risk, but they took it. And they took it, they meant to take it. They were just being dramatic. They're shit starter, whoever they are. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mr. or Mrs. Tough Guy. They wanted to be in somebody's situation here. Hmm. They're the reason that, that somebody's person left them, whoever this third party is. They told somebody's secret. That they had a third party. Mm -hmm. And somebody left somebody because they didn't care uh, for them anymore after they found out whatever this is. And now 
this person is like grieving like how 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 did they find out you're the only one i told is what i hear to this friend this karmic friend but it's not a friend it's an enemy okay a fake ass friend a two-faced friend with hidden intentions okay yeah they told on their 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 uh bff whether it was a masculine or feminine they told their person that they were cheating on them yeah they got right into the middle of the business yeah just to just to you know watch some fireworks pop off watch some shit go down okay and now this friend is puzzled that their friend would even tell on them that's crazy and now somebody's hard to reach somebody's got somebody blocked off because they're realizing that this person that told them the secret that they were keeping to their person their person has walked off and left them and they ghosted them walked away okay and whoever this friend me is was trying to avoid being caught but this queen of swords is going to get the fucking answers yeah going to get the answers oh wow and what really happened here is the energy i'm getting here is is that somebody's best friend be it masculine or feminine they partner or their best girlfriend whatever you want to call it friend girl somebody considered a friend but they end up being a friend me either told on them or either told on their person told their secret that they had a third party and now somebody's partner has ghosted them okay and now somebody's wondering why did the friend tell did the friend tell how much did they tell somebody's puzzle here conflicted okay and here this friend is this friend of me so-called friend it's been sneaking around avoid getting caught okay about being responsible for this breakup between these two people but they're responsible but see this queen of swords is gonna get to the bottom of it okay yeah like a detective going straight for the truth gonna see right right through to till she gained some clarity on the whole situation or he Get, they they going to get to the bottom of it. About these accusations. About this, you know, what was being said about what this person was supposed to have done here. Okay, because somebody feels like, you know, they missed out on a chance with somebody because their so-called friend, which ended up being a friend of me, could have even possibly lied on them and said that they had a third party. It's also what I'm picking up here. And it wasn't true. They were just being dramatic, wanted to be a shit starter, okay? And they didn't want to be the one, you know, to get caught, so they were tiptoeing around the situation here. Like, whispering, like, hey, you know what your girl been up to, or you know what your dude been up to, you know, your guy been up to, some shit like that, you know? And then they want to watch this, the, the fireworks, you know, go off, you know, between these two. And now somebody's person has left them for real. And I guess this is a, this could be a mother figure or another feminine figure who's going towards this friend of me this fake ass friend this two-faced motherfucker or this two-faced bitch to get the truth did you tell or did you say this or did you say that you know question them about the accusations that were made because somebody did definitely walk away from somebody and this person is puzzled i mean they're they're hurt okay somebody could have been lustful here you know and cheating on that person but Somebody feels like this friend shouldn't have intervened. Felt like they were being two-faced. You know? They had their own hidden intentions, okay? They just want to be extra. That's when I'm getting here. What else is here, Spirit? And this shit took off pretty fast, too. Shit, somebody could have lost their stability, their home, or something behind this shit here. Mm hmm. See, if somebody could be in a financial struggle behind this shit about what this friend of me did okay wow mm, mm, mm. somebody's feeling pretty way down about this situation here hmm. i don't know somebody's got a lucky break here <laughs> Somebody's got a lucky break here. Somebody's going to be learning a lesson here. Once this, whatever this knowledge is, you know, that this Queen of Swords gets 
when they get down to the bottom of what really happened. Okay, somebody's going to catch a lucky break here. Okay, because right now somebody's financially struggling because of this friend of me here that wanted to be, you know, extra, you know, do some extra shit, tiptoe around, avoid getting caught, the one that started the shit in the first place. It could have just been a rumor. Now somebody's person has left them and they put up a brick wall. Okay, now they're hard to reach. They're guarded. All right. But when it's Queen of Swords, look into this shit. I mean, hey. Hmm. This just might turn out okay for somebody here. Right now, somebody's under judgment for a secret or an alleged secret or something like that, you know. But it's all because of this fucking friend that was being extra, extra fucking dramatic, jealous, envious. Mm. I mean, I said it took off fast. Whoever this friend of me is, oh, they didn't delay. No, they took straight off. And told somebody's person that they was playing on them. That's what this friend of me did and caused a whole bunch of bullshit. Because they, you know, they may have wanted their person. They may have wanted to be this person's sneaky link. Or they could have been this person's sneaky link. But this Queen of Swords energy is going to get to the bottom of this shit. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So, this so-called friend of me is this person's secret motherfucking lover. Not the one that's, that's, that, that was accused of the cheating, but the other person that they told that their person was cheating on them. No, that's why they're, that, that's why they're in anxiety. Okay. It's really that this, this friend of me was lusting after this person's um, masculine or feminine here. And one of the one of the two in a commitment walked away from the other one because of this friend of me jumping in the middle. And the reason they walked away is because they are lovers. That is that person's hidden lover. And that's why this Queen of Swords is, is on a quest for the truth here. To gain some clarity about the situation. This fr this friend of me is avoiding getting caught, okay? Because they've been sneaking around with this karmic masculine or this karmic feminine. But they left a divine masculine or a divine feminine um, in distress. Thinking like, why did why y'all judging me for that? Why did y'all say that I cheated? I never cheated. It's because somebody's person here was cheating with the friend. The so-called friend of me. The two-faced motherfucker with the hidden intentions. Because, yeah. And they knew that person was playing on them because they was playing with them. Cheating with them is what I'm getting here. The sneaky link, the hidden lover, a low-key relationship. Yeah, it was that person's side piece. And they lied on a divine femme or divine masculine here. And their karmic partner was in on it with the fucking sneaky link here. The so-called friend of me, the friend of me with the hidden intentions. Yeah, because they're the ones. I'm getting this, this fake friend started a rumor and said that a divine feminine or divine masculine was cheating on their person with a third party when in fact it was actually them and so that that gave that person a reason to walk away from divine feminine divine masculine to go be with the sneaky link you know that's the real player you know the karmic okay they left their person in distress left them for no fucking reason walked off you know because they accused them of cheating when it was really them. Cheating with the friend of me. Damn. That's crazy. The fucking sneaky link. Mm, mm, mm. What else is here? Oh, and like I said, this took out pretty fast. I mean, it, it wasn't no delays in this shit. Yeah, but this sneaky link is trying to avoid getting caught. But this Queen of Swords is like a detective. She's going to get her. He's going to get down to the bottom of it. Somebody might catch a lucky break here. I guess the one that, that was accused for no fucking reason. 
You catch your lucky breakers, you're gonna find out <laughs> what this motherfucker did because wow. Somebody's gonna go get some self awareness, some clarity, I'm telling you. Somebody gonna cut through the illusions, like I know I didn't do that shit, so what's really going on here? What's really going on here? Somebody's paranoid. And I'm getting this this fucking friend of me. Yeah. They're paranoid. Wondering. Are they gonna find out? Because see they started the rumors. The gossip about Divine Femme, Divine Masculine cheating when it was actually this friend of me was cheating with their person. Yeah. Cheating with Divine Femme or Divine Masculine's person. They were cheating. That was their person's sneaky link. This friend of me was. Wow. That was the way that they got them separated. And this is why they can't contact their person. This divine film, divine master can't reach their person because their person is unreachable. They put up a brick wall. They're hard to reach. Okay. Because they're with this two-faced friend, fake-ass friend with the hidden intentions. The motherfucker that was being dramatic, they took shit too far. They was a shit starter. Okay. They, they just, you know, wow, wanted to settle with somebody's person and they did in a sneaky ass way the sneaky link was very sneaky yeah they're the real player player here wow mm. one more spirit they spread the rumors and the gossip yeah and this queen of swords is going to find out the truth oh yeah about the sneaky link here and they all play played a part in this shit but somebody's going to catch a lucky break. I mean, this Queen of Swords may come back with the truth here. Somebody's running out of motherfucking time here. Mm. Somebody's partner got some, some kinky ways here, some fetishes. They don't want it to be found out. Yeah, it's a friend of me around you. This is past, present, or future energy that we're picking up on here. Somebody's got a friend of me that they person, and I'm getting the same sex too for some of y'all. Okay, they got fantasies and fetishes, you know, and they're looking to explore. So this sneaky link was a friend of me that caused this, this bullshit to happen in the first place. Okay, yeah. Wow, they did, they did it too fast though. And it happened real fast. And it left somebody puzzled and hurt, confused, perplexed, conflicted. Like, what the fuck? I didn't, you know, I didn't even do anything. Now that they know that this Queen of Swords energy is out here to get down to the truth about this sneaky link. And they're getting close. Time is running out because somebody, this, this Queen of Swords is about to get a, a, a lucky break. They're going to find out that this person that walked away from this innocent person over here, this innocent divine feminine, this innocent divine masculine, left off with this, this fake ass two-faced friend that started the shit in the first place. Because, you know, they got this old kinky ass relationship going on. Somebody's person and this friend, this fake ass friend, got a relationship going on. They got fantasies and fetishes. They they, they fulfill with one another. So that was their way of get, getting out, you know, away from this divine feminine, this divine masculine. You were dealing with a karmic anyway. Because they was fucking the friend here. The fake ass friend, the two-faced motherfucker that started all this shit. Hmm trying to confuse damn they was trying to confuse the divine film divine masculine to make them to make divine film divine masculine's person think that their person that they were fucking with somebody else that's what they told their person but it was actually them and their person fucking around wow but somebody's getting to the bottom of it because it caused somebody to lose something here but somebody's gonna catch a lucky break just in time and they're gonna find out that this friend of me was a fucking sneaky link that they person played on them with, the fake ass friend. Wow, because they had some fetishes and some fantasies they wanted to fulfill. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody wanted somebody for a snack. Mm. Somebody was obsessed with somebody's person here. Mm-mm-mm. 
Hey, somebody's going to be gaining some more insight on the situation here. Okay. Wow. What else is here, spirit? Before I get out the dirty deck and tell what these two nasty motherfuckers was doing and left this person, you know, fucking heartbroken, not knowing what was really going on. Lied on this person and everything. Lied on Divine Film. Lied on Divine Mask on here. The reason why they ghosted and they ghosted and to be with a fake ass friend. And this friend set the whole thing up. Started the fucking rumors. Tried to avoid being caught. But they're going to get caught because somebody's going to catch a lucky break here. And this information going to get leaked out. Mm hmm. Your person was playing you the whole time with this two faced ass friend of me here. Because they had some type of sexual attraction towards each other. Obsession here. Okay, but they're running out of time before they, before they get uncovered. Okay, wow. Somebody wanted somebody's person for a snack here. They had an obsession with them, a physical attraction. All right. So this motherfucking punk bitch over here, or this punch punk punk ass nigga, I want to punch him. That's why I said punch. Somebody want to punch this motherfucker. They done figured the shit out. Yeah, they started the shit. They started fucking gossiping rumor about somebody cheating, the bad film, the bad masculine, cheating in the first place, spreading the rumors and gossip. Hmm. Now this motherfucker paranoid. Cause somebody waking up to what's really what really went on. Why that person really ain't speaking to him. Because of that fake ass friend tiptoeing around you just to fuck your person here. Femme masculine, divine femme, divine masculine. This is a karmic you was dealing with. And a and a karmic fake ass friend. They both had hidden intentions here. They wanted to get their freak on, ain't that a bitch? At your expense though. I said somebody bit off more than they could chew. It looks like your person did and this fucking friend of me. Yeah. They was each other's snack, if you get what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they was, they was flirting. Lots of irrational behavior here. Yeah, things got heated up between these two fucking karmic motherfuckers here. Oh. They might have got away from that person so they could see each other openly. They got tired of being, you know, in the closet. You, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, they wanted, they want people to be able to see them together. So this is why this person can't be reached. The bad film, the bad master, your person can't be reached because they with this fucking friend of me over here. Okay? Yeah. They want to be able to see each other openly. So they had to cut you out the picture. That's what's going on here. They wanted an exclusive relationship here is what they wanted. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, they planned on... I don't know. Shit, they was in it to win it. That's all I could tell you. Shit, they was in it to win your person over. This friend of me, this two-faced motherfucker was, or this two-faced bitch, this shit starter. Wow. Mm, they invested a lot of time in this shit, I can tell you that. When you get this news, you're just going to be fed the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be over it. You're not going to be having it. It's going to frustrate you when you find out what really happened. Okay, because this detective, this queen of swords is getting down to the bottom of it. This could be a friend of yours or one of your family members. Like, hell no, you know, you're, you're just not going to do my my people like that, you know. Fuck that, they didn't deserve that, you know. They're going to get to the bottom of it. And now this motherfucking friend of me is paranoid that the truth going to come out. Mm -hmm. They could be like, you know, download lovers or they could just be, you know, to be bisexual lovers. One more spirit. Hmm. Wow. Somebody needs somebody to be blunt and honest, okay? Because, yeah. When I look at this card, you know, it was it, it could have been about because like I said, so it could have caused somebody to lose money or something like that. Yeah, it, it says dirty money here. Somebody did this so somebody could lose money in a dirty way. Like they did them dirty so they could lose, you know, 
money where this person would have to like you know they would be in a financial struggle or some shit like that you know what I'm saying wow mm, 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 mm. wow <laughs> this is crazy let's see Holy Spirit what do you want me to do oh the dirty day I don't know. I'm just look at this one right here. <laughs> it says, wondering about them on one side and spilling the beans on the other. Wondered about them. If you didn't wonder about them, somebody that cares about you, wonder what your person and this fucking fake ass friend was really up to. They was up to making love to each other, okay? Yeah. They knew that your person was going to peace out on you, you know what I'm saying? Leave you and not care about you after what this person, this rumor, whatever this karmic friend spread out about you but somebody's gonna be spilling the beans okay yeah they're gonna regret their past decisions you know on spreading these rumors and gossip about you and it was not true that's what spirit said and whoever this friend of me is was always around when you and your person was into it for some of you guys okay right it's a lot of emotions involved here okay that's why somebody's puzzled about why some, something happened. Somebody's laughing like the shit's funny, you know, some ha 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 shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. They were glad that they made this this, this person um, confused or perplexed about what happened here with this lie they told about. They were cheating on this. Said that this divine family, this divine masculine was cheating when it was them, this friend of me cheating with their person. Okay, and they were running off together. Thought the shit was funny. Being very dramatic, a shit starter. A two faced motherfucker. Karma gas friend of me with hidden intentions, okay? Tried to avoid getting caught, but they gonna get caught. Mm hmm. Whoever this karma gas friend, friend of me is, did it for payback and revenge. I don't know. <laughs> now they feel like shit because they're paranoid. They're sitting somewhere scared. Because they know they're about to get busted. They're panicking. I just seen it. They're panicking. Where did it go? Just show it straight up. See, they lied. They lied. They lied on Divine Film, Divine Masculine. That was the ultimate betrayal right there. Mm -hmm. That was the ultimate be betrayal. They was laughing. They set this whole thing up. Started this rumor and lie on Divine Film, Divine Masculine. But it was all they karmic person and this friend of me that was shit fucking each other. Desperate to keep this a secret. Ain't that some shit? Yeah. They thought they was getting over on Divine Film, Divine Masculine. Mm mm mm. And see, this is why this Queen of Swords is out to get these answers. Because uh, somebody got left heartbroken here. Somebody got left in their emotions and shit. And this motherfucker, and they person was laughing about the shit. But somebody's like, why, why would they spread those rumors and gossip about me? It's not even true. Yeah, the truth's gonna come out. And he was the only one that didn't know. That this shit was going on. They th they thought they was getting over on you. They thought they lied to you. That they was actually lovers. Okay. Spirit said it's confirmation. Spirit said that's confirmation. Yeah, about this ultimate betrayal. Okay. Well, yeah. It's going to hit them hard. That's what Spirit said. They may be laughing now, but they'll cry later. What else is here, Spirit? A few more before I close out. Thank you. Could have been some heated arguments, okay? Somebody here even could have blackmailed somebody here, okay? Yeah. That's where the dirty money come in at. It could have been somebody blackmailed them. Like, I'm going to tell about, you know, us having these uh this, this love affair, you know? Feeding our fantasies and fetishes, you know what I'm saying? I want us to be, you know, in an open relationship. If we have to move away, if you have to cut this person off and not talk to them no more, just come be with me. Yeah, blackmail. I'm getting blackmail was involved here with this dirty money and this sneaky link here. 
Okay, yeah. This person, this fake friend was only coming around to cause problems here. Okay, wow. Oh, I can't make it up. Spirits said their little nasty scandals about to be exposed. Wow. So if you're going through this situation, just know that's what it is. Okay, just know what that's what it is. Wow. Hmm. I don't know if you said somebody could be going on a rampage. I don't know. Could be somebody in this uh, Queen of Swords uh, that's going to find out the truth. Because see, when it, when, it all, when when this nasty scandal is exposed, you know, they're like, like, this shit don't make no sense. And it's not going to make any sense. Because why would somebody's person allow themselves to get blackmailed by a fake-ass two-faced friend to spread a rumor about the bad them and the bad masculine cheating on them when it was them cheating with their person all along fulfilling a sexual fantasy a sexual fetish or something with by blackmailing them now okay the enemy was around you and your person to cause trouble okay spirits of this confirmation they was laughing because you you know was emotional about the shit puzzled confused perplexed you know what i'm saying because the shit didn't make any sense to you because you know where was the shit coming from it was all based on a lie Okay, your person did some shit they had, had no business doing. Some more freaky shit. Probably for some of y'all, a down low lover. Or for some of y'all, it was just another karmic. Feminine or another karmic masculine. You know what I'm saying? That they like to get freaky together. Fulfill their fantasies and fetishes together. And somebody ended up blackmailing um, this person's person. And shit, they just cut their person off. Because they, they liked it, the fetishes, the freaky shit. They went along, you know, to play the game with this fucking friend of me. Okay, that's what I have for you now. Um, till next time, I hope this helps someone in a positive way to gain some insight on your situation. Um, and just know that somebody's always out there better than a sneaky motherfucking player or a sneaky motherfucking link or a motherfucking fake ass two-faced friend with hidden intentions. Watch these motherfuckers, y'all, because they out here. All right, till next time, peace, love, and light. If nobody's told you they love you today, I love you today. Namaste for now.